I posted the link about the um, shapes that uh, repeat the platonic solids. The platonic solids and the infinite pattern that never repeats. Um, well, we never actually went through that. It, the video starts out talking about the five platonic solids, which are the four, six, eight, twelve, and twenty-sided shapes. Um, same as a set of dice for Dungeons and Dragons. Um, and uh, the, the phi ratio, also known as the golden ratio, also known as the Fibonacci sequence, um, is one of the basic... Uh, shapes of nature. Um, it's defined as a the ratio uh, between uh, the division and a line. If you divide a line in such a way that one half is smaller than the other, and the ratio between the bigger half and the smaller half is the same as the ratio between the bigger half and the whole line, uh, which comes out to 1.618. And then the video goes on to talk about different shapes that can that can uh, pattern, and I forget the term it uses. Uh, crap, that's the problem with not taking notes. Uh, <laughs> um, but the, not those notes. I'm talking about on the video. If I had to take the notes on the video for, oh, for this okay. purpose, then I'd know what term I'm looking for right now. But it's repeatable patterns. It's patterns. Uh, Grim knows what I'm talking about. Any kind of uh, website that has a tiled background has a repeatable pattern. An infinite pattern that if you take that shape and you can duplicate it side by side and, and top and bottom and build a pattern that creates a bigger pattern that can go on infinitely. It's an infinite pattern. Well, this guy uh, figured out or did the research. It's a historical kind of thing. Um, some scientists figured out that this particular pattern that they came up with could repeat or infinite it could, it could build infinitely without ever repeating without having a repeating pattern it's pretty interesting if you watch the video it, it uh, if you're into fractal stuff it goes into that kind of stuff and how that all ties in so that's in a nutshell, what the first 15 minutes of the show that didn't get recorded was about. It was a really interesting video. I really enjoyed yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I recommend anybody to watch it. It was something that I never even considered. Uh, I've done work laying out parking lot lights to get a certain number of foot candles average over the whole lot, but that's always a specific reoccurring pattern. So uh -huh. I never knew that there was a pattern that did not and could not repeat itself. Yeah, I was just fascinated. Scientific stuff. Math. Yeah. I put the nerd alert out on the chat. <laughs> <laughs> well, this yeah. either you have a taste for this kind of stuff or you don't. And it's yeah. It's a very deep kind of shit. Yeah, yeah, not every, it's not everybody's cup of tea. Um, yeah, yeah it, uh, but to the people it slaps, boy, you, you guys get their attention. Yeah, I mean, to uh, people that are into it, they're really into it. Well, how would you use this stuff in, in something through your day if you're just a normal person like me? Well, does this have your own power supply? <laughs> Wait. So now I'm going to start notes up again. I ended with uh, mass tales, but I don't think they made it to the recording, so we'll just go on beyond that, right? Let's yeah. start arguing yeah. about. Yeah, it. that sounds good. Okay. Let's go ahead and get the fishing report. Oh, all right. Well, 
That'll just, work. We'll just, want a fishing report? We'll just change gears and go from there. Okay, yo. Got it. No Barry. fish. No fish were harmed in the production of this video. <laughs> I, I, I got three before I gave up and, and came home. Uh, it was a beautiful day until the wind switched, and then it was a fight, and I don't fight the water. When I first started paddling the boat with my daddy, he said, you can push just as hard on that water as you want to, <laughs> or you can do it gentle, and it'll still work. Yeah. So... You know, when when you got to push real hard to make it work, I just I yeah. <laughs> yeah, the effort becomes not worth the reward. Yep. And and you finally hit a conversation where I have experience, too, so I understand what you're saying. First time, without <laughs> having to look anything up, because <laughs> I grew up swimming. Yeah. So yeah, oh, I yeah. have respect for water. Trumpy, Trumpy put a link in the chat room uh, about what we're talking about here, the infinite that pattern that never repeats, explained. Mm -hmm. You want me to uh, add that to the notes? Yeah, that'd be great. Do that. Uh, let's see, this guy. Adding it to the notes now. Tell okay. <laughs> imagine, imagine a pattern that goes on forever. You'd expect it to repeat at some point, wouldn't you? Well, as mathematics shows, and much loved YouTube channel. Veritasium explained. Oh, that's the same. That's the same link we have already. An infinite pattern that never repeats itself is actually yeah. possible. Yeah. It is. No, it's not. It's just a different. It ta oh, it's just got the video in there. But oh, okay. It's a. It's well. It's a, it's another site promoting that video with a little bit of uh, explanation to go with it. So that's okay. Cool. Well. And that explanation right there, you might want to, I don't know if you, if we should do that or not, but uh, that explanation right there, that, that explanation is would be a good set of notes for the... Okay, well, I don't know what... Or, or, just, or just give this, you know what, replace that other link with this one. That's English I can understand. Thank you. <laughs> Glasses on it. So, anyways, uh, so you got three, and wrapped it up. Yeah, yeah, I got three and came home. Uh, beautiful day. I I always enjoy it when I'm on the water, but when the wind gets up, I, I go home. And that's really weird. This is a little man-made lake, a dam up a creek, and it sits between two great big hills. Yeah. But the wind... It always just whistles through there. Once the wind decides to get up, it could it could be five miles an hour one second and forty miles an hour the next. Uh, it's only about a two hundred acre lake, but yeah. I've seen three foot white cap and waves on the thing. Damn. <laughs> Yeah. Let's go, well, let's go searching, man. <laughs> yeah, you bet. Uh, <laughs> Body you know, I, Yeah. It, well, all they've got out there is John boats. That's the only thing you can take on it. <laughs> and it would really take some real hard efforts to, to turn a John boat over. Everybody really right. got to want to. Everybody right now? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was my burglar alarm. I posted thing, Rob. I posted it. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't know. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I got it sorted out. Yeah. Thank you very much. So, I, re I just, you want to clear on that. You Damn, know, they're persistent. You're trying to get done. You confusing fellow. That's a long-ass ring, dude. This is radio. <laughs> Everything's different on the radio. Than in person. <laughs> the cats are awake now. <laughs> oh, wow. You wrote that down as cats, Larry. <laughs> that was, that was, that was, that was, that was, and Lucy's dog is growling. I got headphones still. Oh, slap. And that's just, that's still better than a harmonica. Ouch. Ouch. Yeah. Wow. 
Oh, wow. oh that just shows you how deaf I am. <laughs> get a flight swatter in. Damn. Oh, and Moosey piled it on, too. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> I, How, even I, get, my I get the feeling they don't care for your harmonica. And I have to do it twice. So. Yeah, and uh, yeah, the little do they know they're only egging you on. <laughs> encourage, encourage to try to grow an audience. That's, that's what I can I right. for. It. <laughs> oh, oh, mommy. Fun stuff. <laughs> What'd you do on Monday, Larry? Monday, we... <laughs> Uh, there are, are patterns that, that show up over and over in our drawings. And one of those patterns, in, in order to switch the three phase through its, it, to make it rotate and, and make the engine work, it takes three coils, all of them operating at the same time, in sync with one another. Uh huh. But that, that, Three coils is a four-way switch. So that four-way switch pattern shows up over and over and over again in our drawings to to link these systems together. And so Monday I taught the guys how to wire a four-way switch that is a switched neutral. It, that's something that's uh, against the rules here in the United States, but in Sweden they do it, and other European countries they do it. What that means is that your appliance, whatever, whatever. Oh, uh, I think what is the neutral? Hold on, Larry. You just you just dropped out for about three seconds there. Back up about. Uh, I taught them how to wire the four-way switch, but switching the neutral, right? The okay. the neutral uh, carries the entire load, so it is it's the uh, the one you get shocked out of most, the one you get the hardest hit, the most amperage out of. Uh, but and and that's against the rules in the United States. But what that does <laughs> is that that's only inside of our system. Uh, yeah. It doesn't, it, it's not in your house or anything like that. That's in our system. And what that does for us is that keeps everything hot and all the capacitors charged up and that sort of thing. The capacitors that we make out of coils. Well, all these electronic words that I'm using, that's all in the wiring of the coils. So it it fills our capacity circuits and our resistive circuits, and everything's ready to operate as soon as you do it, as soon as you energize it. Okay. But right. what that means is that all of the bad stuff. All of the spikes and, and things that the electronics you're running on this system are absorbed within the system and cleaned through our capacitor banks. So uh, it, it recycles the, the power that you use, which also means that now that we've got power coming through this neutral line, everything that you use you can also sell back to the power company. Recycle. Yeah. It's okay. a loop. I posted a link in the, in the chat room of a diagram of a four-way switch diagram. Yeah. Does, does this relate to what you're talking about? Absolutely. Okay. And then it shows the switches themselves, and then it shows the pattern, the wiring pattern down below. Is that the pattern you've been seeing? Yeah, uh, except the ones that we're doing is two X's. Okay. Uh, and it, all it is is just a different style of switching. Uh, and instead of putting uh, the neutral from the panel goes on this diagram where the line 
wire is and the neutral on this drawing. The line in neutral uh, or reverse? I, yeah, the line in neutral reverse, exactly. Okay. And that, uh, the, 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 the double X you're talking about is just having the switches in different positions. I mean, they, they switch between yeah. the two orange. So it, on, on the, the right one that has the two switches toggled outwards, you just switch those around, and then you've got that pattern you're talking about. Yeah, and then you've got the X. What, that, what that's showing is that, that light is turned off at the turn. Right. So having it, the, the double X would be turned on. Yeah. Which would be the third switch flipped down. Anyway. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, but you, that's hard. Right? There, there's no actual switching going on. It just it's just wired that way. Yeah, it, we just go between the circuits that are involved, and, and this takes four circuits to do it uh, and make it work. Because we've, we've got another MOSFET circuit in it that's switching the polarity. Back to the right, AC. right. That's giving you your, your AC. Yeah, that's giving us our AC frequency, and that AC frequency is switched by this this circuit to make the motors run. The, the AC is switched to the motor through this circuit. Yeah. Moose Girl has a couple of questions. <clears throat> First, she asked, do they do that with solar already, selling power back to the company? I can answer that. Yes, that you can sell power back to the so, uh, power company. Uh, if you generate power by any means, um, you can do that. What's that circuit you uh, have to get to? Uh, that, that's just a transfer switch. Transfer comes switch, from yeah. the power company. Yeah, it uh, allows you to, to send power back through the lines. So that answers that question. Um, the other question she has is, um, and this is just for you, do you think most people have the ability to grasp the basic concepts of electricity, power, slash power, or is it too complicated for most people to grasp, in your opinion? Moose girl, darling, if I can understand it, everybody can. I am not the sharpest pencil in the box. Uh, it, electricity is like water. Uh, whatever it does, it's a logical movement. It, everything is logical about it. Just give it a little thought and you'll be able to figure it out. Uh, there's... A, I've had a lot of experience wiring things, so it, it comes pretty easy for me and I'm kind of mechanically inclined. But yeah, it takes a while for our catch on. Well, I look at it this way: um, there's nothing you can't learn. Okay, yeah. uh, it's not a matter of ability for most people. Now, there there are some people that actually have uh, physically damaged brains that uh, cause them to not be able to grasp concepts. But that's the exception. Most yeah. people that are healthy and normal. Or, or weakness in that usually. The problem with most people uh, that can't do things is because they think they can't do things. Desire is if, if you if you want to do it and it, it, it sparks that interest in you, it'll happen. You, you'll, you'll learn it. You'll learn what you need to know to accomplish the goal you're trying to go to to, to accomplish. And that's, and I've that's learned more since I quit school than while I was oh, there. Oh yeah, I learned way more <laughs> since school, and even during school, I learned more just by reading. Um, mm -hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, that's it, Charlie. Spark it up. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, uh, the, 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 the block to most people uh, not knowing things is a matter of choice. Well, it's, yeah, it's laziness, really. <laughs> to not, in my well, opinion, people don't want to do the work. They want to hand it to them. And this comes down to that whole, you know, I want it now a mentality that Americans are so famous for. Oh, you think instant instant gratification. They don't want to do the work. They don't want to they don't want to put the effort into understanding. But you think that's just America? No, it can be anywhere, but Americans are known for it. Well, there's other countries that are taking the limelight away from you. Well, yeah, Australia is showing their idiotic, idiotic side. Uh, well, I think it's related to their Chinese debt that they're acting like China, but maybe it's a coincidence and I don't have a clue. That could be part of it, I'm sure. It's like Canada and their Chinese debt. But again, oh, I must be talking out of my neck. Part. Right, right. Like, Not, but, I mean, he can't say outside. anything. Now he's bubbling. Oh, well. <laughs> right, Larry? Okay. Yeah. And, uh, hmm. yeah, I think Australia is going through the same stuff that we are. Uh, yeah, yeah, only like, on steroids. Yeah, directed energy weapons and the whole thing. Yeah, they just have the huge I, fire I, thing and all that. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Same well, thing. How, how, how do they bamboozle these? populations into agreeing to the insanity that the governments get dirt on them and tell them if they don't do what you tell them they to do that you're going to tell the world oh, oh yeah blackmail that's right blackmail that's point, man. Yeah. I wonder how I'd behave if somebody was threatening to Loan, loan them all the money that they want and then tell them if, if a natural disaster comes along and your, your, your population has to leave that part, then we get it if you default on this loan. So, burn yeah, them out. But see, that sounds like something out of Diary of an Economic History. <laughs> so, you know, the conspiracy theory people got a hold of that one. It's it's like a like they divvy up shit between this is the system and this is the conspiracy stuff. It's stupid. I mean, if you think something, even if you're wrong, it should be your own belief, not what you saw as somebody else said. I mean, I could think of ten things I seen somebody else do today. I wouldn't follow them to do it. You know, no. But you do that because you're imperfect. <laughs> Damn it! And I, I am tolerant of the imperfect. It's what I do. How magnanimous of you! <laughs> oh, come on, <laughs> we all got a little bit of handful up our butt. <laughs> <sighs> Try denying it. Damn it, Trumpy! Here you go again. Uh, Trumpy's turning into a little snitch. <laughs> well, I didn't mean to shut everybody up. It was a joke. <laughs> it was a joke. Frumpy's so going to report us to Beetle for mentioning DEWs, man. Uh oh. We're going to get. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. The aliens are attacking. Get them. Yep. Live while we're on the on the radio, like a, like that War of the Worlds thing. Well, yeah, that's people. what that signal was a while ago. Like right now, right now. Yeah, right now the aliens are up there, directing their energy weapons down to Earth and burning shit. Oh yeah. Oh right. no, that's the space force. Oh, we have a space oh, force. Oh, that's what it is. They're shooting lasers at one another way out in space, and they're finally hitting the Earth. Yeah. That's ah, it. that's it. Collateral damage. Yep. 
You got any opinion on what it would take for a meteor to find this rock? You know, this big old thing we're in? Well, because I'm told it's infinite. But yet, I'm sitting on a pebble in some part of it, and it gets slapped in the face by another thing. And I just want, I wonder how, how likely that is to happen. Well, here, here's what I see. Mm-hmm. Wait, tonight, or just go out on the internet and bring up a picture of the moon, and you look at it, and you see all them craters. That's every time a rock has hit the moon. According to who? According to your eyes, if you're looking at the moon. Well, <clears throat> we'll see. Uh, Unless you think there's somebody down there setting off bombs or something. I don't know. They do it here. <laughs> yeah, well, those, those, been the moon. those, was last those craters have been on the moon long before we developed missiles, I'm pretty sure. The, the, uh, moon, I, the moon is simply a target test certain thing that they brought oh, up in the yeah. Earth many, many years oh. ago. Okay. Oh, is that on. what it is? Come on. Come on. In, in 1969, they pretended to talk to the president from the moon on the Immediate radio <laughs> with no delay. Yeah. So, well, they pulled that off then. But come on, guys, aren't we done with the moon bullshit yet? Are we going to still play bullshit games about the moon? Like we've all been to it, and we all know what it's made of. I walked on it, waved the flag. Yep, that's what happened. Well, this is something you can see with your own eyes. You just got to look up in the sky. No, I can't. I what are glasses. You, I barely see some white. Okay, eyes. get you some binoculars. Oh, here we go with the bullshit. Why? Get you some binoculars and look at the moon. You'll see the craters on it for yourself. Well, maybe my mind will interpret them. You've seen pictures of the moon. Uh, Trust me, it looks like it, that. It, <laughs> but it may not. <laughs> Ask anybody in the chat room. They'll tell you it looks like that. I the moon is flat. Oh, fuck. <laughs> how, how come the moon doesn't spin in a circle? Because Why it's just flat. Stay if it did, it'd dump everything off. Ah, oh, come on, man. I thought it was made of cheese. It's tied a lot. <laughs> okay, I'll quit fucking around these guys now. That's <laughs> a serious intellectual conversation with Larry Woods. <laughs> <laughs> It's all good. <laughs> I I think that it has such a high gravitational field that it sort of snatches all the things or most of the things that are going to come by. But then again, you've got to take into account the arachnids that every once in a while send a, uh, an asteroid our way. So you've got to be careful for them. <laughs> what? Larry's talking Grim, Starship. Larry's making stuff up now. <laughs> Larry's talking Starship Troopers. <laughs> yeah. Is that a movie? Okay. Yeah. So movie. Hey, you know, have you ever noticed the similarities between every freaking virus movie you ever saw and what's going on in public right now? Imagine that. Mm. Yeah, but can't people understand that all those movies were just entertainment? They weren't historical fucking documents. No, the predictive they were program. actors pretending shit. It's, pre- it's called predictive Enter- programming. Entertainment, you butt nuggets. Not a. They put the idea in the mi- in your mind, and then when it happens, you react accordingly. Yeah, they weren't an instruction manual to you know fuck up society. They were entertainment. Yeah, well, neither was 1984. Can you imagine if the fucking government really had the power to to let a virus loose on people? Shit, (laughs) we'd all be dead. (laughs) This idiot's power is fucking insane. Frumpy, have they have they finished building the moon yet, or is the dark side still all scaffolding? (laughs) (laughs) Ah, you Pink Floyd people are too much. Making my tumor bleed. You know, there are actually tribes that have uh, verbal histories. You know, they have they, their history is told in stories, and they have his, their shamans or the historians, and they remember back. They yeah. talk about a time before there was a moon. Yes, you, yeah. you, you can look that up. It's actual. 
Yeah, but you know, I I have something in common with him. After all, I have to come, I have to come clean on the radio and explain it to you. I suffer from selective memory. <laughs> if I don't like it, I don't remember it. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think everybody does that. Deal, that's deal not, with that one. That's not anymore. exclusive to you, Hans. I'm telling you. Not? No, oh, that's, that, that is a widespread phenomenon. <laughs> oh, I was worried for a minute. <laughs> Finish the wall, damn it. <laughs> Lower my damn standards to have a tear. <laughs> oh, no. Anyway, that was rude. That was a rude. He's ruder than me, Tom. The moon has decided to build a wall between Earth and the moon. <laughs> because I'm rude. That, that's why this wall is going to protect everybody from me. And everything like that. Build a bridge. Can you imagine? Well, I don't know. Mm. Some people are rude, and I, I get tired of dealing with them, so I put them on the egg. go, wow. You know, ah. Because not, you know, we're a, a group of savages, and not everybody's taste is the same, you know? Well, yeah. Some, some people like the fresh kill, and some people like leftovers, and each such. They got very it's, like, it's like being in the party, at a party, and the guy in the living room is being a dick, so you go out in the backyard and hang out at the pool. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I guess sometimes that happens. But not not here so far. But in America, we do that at a bar a lot yeah. of times. Yeah, yeah. Somebody get a little too drunk, and not be as funny as they thought they were, and end up with a you know a fist in their face, not happy. It's yeah. terrible. Yeah, I've heard that from people. Oh, Glenn oh. said maybe the moon was towed into place. I agree. I think we die yeah. without. I think we die without the moon. <laughs> And Grim says, well, uh, Hoagland is nuts. I don't well, think. <laughs> well, think of what it takes for life. Think about that. But it takes I, it. Go ahead. Last year, I saw the sun and the moon in the sky during the daytime at the same time. Yeah, that when happens. I, when I told Cirk that, she was surprised that I'd never seen it that, like that before. You've never I, seen that? Never, it, no. It was my, the first time in my whole freaking life aware of it. I, I looked at it and went, wait a minute, there's the moon. Okay. you never seen wait, the moon in the sky in the daytime? The moon and... Before. Not like the way I... No, not like this. They were like... No. I have an assignment for you, young man. Go out and lay in the yard and look up. <laughs> no, you know what? It's so much easier to just either take some mushrooms Damn. or a couple bowls. That's my laying out in the backyard. And that's, that, that, that is surprising that you've never seen that, Flash. That's, mm -hmm. I've been seeing that all my life. I mean, I remember I, seeing that as a kid. I've been wearing reading glasses since I was old enough to read. So Yeah, well, these, these are two big things. balls in the sky. <laughs> Exactly. So I'm like, wow, this has been like this. Maybe, maybe you just thought it. Maybe you just thought it was a cloud or something. Those I are God's it. nuts hanging out of his shorts. <laughs> I grew up in L.A. where the sun shined all the freaking time. It was a rare yeah. to not be sunshine. Yeah. Just the moon and the sun in the same, like side by side in the daytime. We never saw that. No, no, no. It's on the opposite fucking side. If it came out in the daytime at all, these two were like sisters. It was weird. That's pretty common. It happened. So you never time. saw an eclipse. Mm -mm. No. You never seen an eclipse? No. Uh -uh. Oh, buddy, you've lost out. Wow. Mm -hmm. See, I'm not. I'm not the one that missed anything. It's all oh. inspiring. <laughs> but see, I don't oh. feel okay. It, just, it, it drives it home how small we are, man. <laughs> oh, no. The, you know what does that? What? Water. Water, water, yeah. Water does that. Yeah. The ocean. Right. Try, try jumping into uh, cold water sometimes. Yeah. During an eclipse, if you don't sacrifice a lamb, it doesn't come back out. Uh, I don't think, <laughs> I don't follow all your, you know... <laughs> Rules either. <laughs> I missed so much in some ways 
saw the shit I needed to see. I live in a nice place. It's not unattractive here where I live. There's shoreline and there's a little bit of trees. <laughs> and there's a flash lives in a cave. <laughs> no, actually, there's a it's a uh, it's a neighborhood, but there's like a big <laughs> hill in the middle of it with uh, trees on it. Yeah. Nobody put houses on it. <laughs> uh, don't stare at the ellipse, Flash. <laughs> oh, wow! Just that. I've never really been interested in all that astronomy stuff. science like stuff, huh? Fuck, <laughs> I was too busy. Do you even science, science, man? Shit, you never cuddle under the stars with your honey? I'm not big on, on this under the stars crap, no. Kind of disappointed, oh. Cirque, which... You're kind of weird, huh? I like yeah. a fire, but nah, I don't want to lay down the buds with you. <laughs> <laughs> You're laying in bacteria that you know, pour into your normal body. Oh, that adds to your immune system. Yeah, probably in the long run, but I, I don't want to get that fucking hole. <laughs> Jeez, have a heart. Oh, <laughs> dang it, Bobby. Okay. Oh. okay, but aren't there just some things that in your life you weren't all that interested in them? Therefore, oh, yeah. the opportunity yeah. for that stuff didn't apply. It didn't come up because I wasn't looking for that. Yeah. I was looking for other stuff, and the stuff I was looking for, I found it. Boy, <laughs> 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 did you find it. And, yeah, not only did it give me the ability to go to the moon all by myself, <laughs> <laughs> but... According to according to the educated folks, it led me to the heroin needle. No, oh, right. <laughs> That's not good. That's what they say. Oh, come on. It's now, a gateway go, drug. You know, well, I'll tell you my experience with people. When I did coke, I didn't want to smoke because it would kill my buzz. So, my other friends that smoke would not want to do. Coke because that that kills my buzz. <laughs> so you don't mix two together. It's kind of the opposite of what you're doing <laughs> yeah, on either side. So Contra, they're just contraindicated. Right, but see, people t- tell you all this crap because they saw it on TV or in a movie. You know what? My my favorite one is the cop, right? And they grab this bag that's taped in plastic or something. And then he sticks his finger in it and licks his finger. <laughs> what, if that, what if that was freaking arsenic? Or was that no. Dog shit. <laughs> 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 that no. You no. just dosed enough to kill about a dozen people. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, uh, yeah, I don't think they do that. And then that's, like, that's right? just the movies. And they, then they they identify the taste of the drug. Off their naked finger in front of the camera for the world to see. Yeah. So people believe, well, that's not how you, there's tests that you use. No, they have little test tubes and they put some in there, uh-huh. check it out, and it turns blue or pink or whatever. Whatever color that <laughs> yeah. would be. Orange. Right? Yeah. But see, TV dumbed everybody down. Well, yeah, well, that's by design. That's why you don't watch the goddamn TV. Cut the fucking cord off that goddamn thing. It's the worst fucking, most diabolical weapon ever devised. Right, but people think that they've got cops out there that do stupid things like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they got people convinced of a lot of stupid shit. Oh, Bethany's was like Barney Five. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, everything on TV is geared towards the eighth grade level. If that so the commercials and they're they're lower, <laughs> yeah, and louder. That's right, Miss Girl. Television programming because they're, cause they're programming your ass. Yeah, it programmed me to think something, but I don't have any idea what. Well, watch you know? watch the little kids if they're playing in a room with their TVs on. They don't watch the program that's on the TV. They're playing, doing something else. But when a commercial comes on, Zoom, just right on the TV. Yep. Uh, 
Yeah, I haven't been around. They're using, oh uh, yeah, they're using subharmonics and all kinds of uh, carrier waves. And uh, yeah, how do you explain that they need the, the camera to run so fast, but your eye doesn't run as fast as the camera? I'm not you sure. Know, I know what you're talking about. So many, <laughs> uh, so many pictures a second, right? Frame but rates. Your eye can only a, can only actually see so many of those. And still function properly. Where thirty two and seven or seventy two and thirty six frames a second, is that what that is? Well, okay, for example, but the when you come to a movie then it's like hundred and forty frames a second and your eye can't keep up. Yeah. So there's no telling what they've done. Put in. Well yeah, you can put in one frame that says eat popcorn. Yeah, yeah. Still. Yeah. They still can do that. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're talking about subliminals. Yeah. I wonder, I wonder what I've seen in my life that has created the monster I've become. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Conform. Yeah. No, some people really, I, I've noticed the disappointment because I don't do the rituals to the coronavirus. <laughs> I absolutely fucking refuse. Till they force me to do it, I ain't fucking doing it. It's stupid. And I will not be shy about, no, I ain't. <laughs> Some of our state Supreme Courts have already ruled that that's unconstitutional. Oh, it took us fucking long to figure that out. Yeah, we really. figured that out in about eight minutes, ten tops. Yep. And then blasted that all over the news for three or four fucking weeks. Instead of the bullshit stories about, you got a, a virus from China. No, mm-hmm. you got fucked again, is what you got. Got it. Huh. I got a wavelength from a damn uh, antenna that was active if you're 60 years old or better. Yeah. Makes more sense. The mortality rate. I mean, when you think about it, people that died of this COVID crap in the first place were all pretty old. Hanging in there, you know, and it's the law that uh, makes you stay alive. There's mm-hmm. no opt out of this. So who knows? Maybe the people that it killed were glad to go. I, for one, would say for myself, if I was bedridden in life, ah, that's enough. I enjoyed it. Take me away, Calgon. <laughs> well, damn. I didn't well, know you I, could get that for... Is that being too realistic or... No. To come on meteor? No. I'm not wishing for it. I'm just saying that you know, I don't live my life like this COVID crowd about, oh, I'm going to get sick and die from that healthy fucker over there. I better stab him. <laughs> that way he doesn't sneeze on me again. Hey, I've seen the cops attacking people because they wouldn't wear a mask. And the cops that did the attacking weren't wearing a mask. So you explain that shit to me, please. Don't. Fuck off. This whole thing is. It's just a power grab and a misdirection from the collapse of the dollar. Which, yeah. you know, when the reset comes, ooh, that's going to be. Well, another cons- you don't seem to disagree, Larry. What do you got on this? No, I I agree with everything you're saying. It, it's totally ridiculous. The, the box that it comes, the mask comes in and says that it's not effective against the virus. This... COVID virus is in everybody that has had a cold so they can make the test to show positive if they want to. And there is no test for a virus. That's not yeah. what they're looking for. Yeah, there's no such thing. So they were just reporting it on the news as though they were. And average Joe doesn't get it. Doesn't know that the, these people would tell them a lie. They're that mm-hmm. Deeply connected to the system. They're dependent on it because it feeds them. Scare the sheep and they start running. Hmm. I hope they run at it and don't run at me. I'm too small. I'm going to get squashed in that. So what I'm going to do is probably uh, assume that the people I live amongst are going to keep their brains together through this crap. And the ones that figured it out already, I, I associate with a lot of them anyway. And the ones that haven't, that are uh, compliant, there's two reasons to be compliant. 
after it's over with, half of them are still going to wear the stupid mask. Not here, I don't think so. I think here it's a matter of compliance is... uh, They pay enough in taxes to where it doesn't bother them like it would bother me. Because I live more free of state than they do. They're more used to the state. But they get shit from their state, so they're willing to give to their state. It's a whole different mentality. Sorry, Larry, I just... But, no, I... To... Yeah, I, I would like to know more about that kind of a system. Uh, I, I have a hard time thinking that half of my working life would have been given away in taxes. Uh... I I don't like the idea of renting a place to live because the landlord can always tell you to get out. Uh, I don't know. I'm just a little scared of that kind of a system. Well, do you think that's the kind that's coming? Over here? Yeah. I certainly hope not. Only if the Dems win. Yeah, well, see, the way things are over here is... uh, the finances are, they are adjusted well to the price index. So if something costs 30 kroner, for example, your average person that works, that makes money, can afford to spend that bit on the kit something. And I've used it as an average, which, like little things, eat, eating and snacking and smoking, shit like that. And it all balanced out to about 30 kroner for an individual item on the high side. And that comes out to at seven it's seven kroner to the dollar. So that's three fifty. Now on the exchange for a while it was like uh, uh hundred kroner would get fourteen and change, about fourteen fifty. But I don't think the dollar is doing so well no more. <laughs> I don't think so either. But yeah. Ms. Grimmier says it doesn't matter who wins. The agenda doesn't change. Absolutely. Yeah. We so, got so the, you, the, 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 the Dems or the Rethugs, the Demon Rats or the Rethuglicants, we're not in any better shape. we got to get rid of the, the owners. Yep. And go back to the original Republic that's a constitutional republic. No, we need something new. We need a paradigm shift, not another new set of rulers. Yeah, free energy. Right, but people are not taught to... They're taught to mimic the story, not have the ability to look at the truth. It's very sad. Yeah. I've got relatives, blood relatives, that buy into this Democrat-Republican stuff to the point of they hold more dear their re, their, uh, their, their relationship than their family. The yes, yeah. they'd rather let me go than yeah. let their religion go. Yeah. Wow. Yep. And uh, I don't. And and, they, and it, to me, it seems all the voters do all the work, and there's no there's no reward to it. But that you get to yell at other people that you're on the right side of the winner. Of this episode, I picked the winner. Who, yeah, who's your slave master? The winner of the popularity contest. Yeah, and then, you know, and then seeing a pompous ass like like uh, uh, with Trump up there all these years, three and a half years now. Fuck's sake! I mean, he was trying to buy Greenland. I thought he was a joke. I didn't know it was real. So I went to the bar and people were punking me because, hey, you know what that idiot Trump tried to do? It was. And then I had to see, oh, no, you got it. Dude. I didn't know it was for sale. It's not. That It's not even the thing <laughs> itself. There's people that live on it. <laughs> but it's a, uh, I don't know, some kind of a territory or some technical bullshit where Danes got to the Danish crown has an interest in it somewhere. But there's still pe- their own people live on it. Jeez. Anyway, so and I had to, you know, laugh off. 
Hell yeah, your your president is I'm the American here. So. <laughs> That's your boy. <laughs> a, a never ending supply of ice for the party. Oh, Actually, no. Because the first time they said anybody did bring it up, it was a few years ago. And I said, ah, fuck Trump and his ass. And that was the end of that. <laughs> so, the people that know me, yeah. they know where I stand on Trump. But the yeah. people that don't, yeah. yeah, that's a different story. Yeah. Well, that's how I, you know, I guess how I survive. It's just I'm just myself at the moment, but I'm careful about how loud I am around certain people. <laughs> <laughs> don't want to, I don't want to have a hard attack on my, yeah, my conscience. Yeah. Give some poor, poor old guy a hard attack because I said something out of uncolorful or too colorful. <laughs> I do that. So I've my I mind myself over here for representing my mother country, America. <laughs> Actually, there's nobody left here that wants to even visit America. And the ones that want to visit America, they said, wow. <laughs> you know, maybe, maybe not, like <laughs> not right now. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, the guy that uh, does rocks, he sells jewelry. Got yeah. a little store in town, and they sell jewelry. And he goes out to where Whitty lives every February, since I can remember. And I don't think he's going to go this next year. Oh. So, things have changed. We got this stupid. Fucking COVID, Johnny. Don't give me the COVID. Well, come on. How can people be so gullible as to buy this crap? I don't understand that. Because they were born and raised on TV. Yeah. Yeah, we were told to be afraid. They've been indoctrinated for for our lifetime. Mm. So, how do they explain when older people like us, basically, right? Right, guys? Mm-hmm. When older folk like ourselves are out there walking around and under our own power, we're not using canes and cars and all that. We're just walking. Well, how do they explain that to the people about all these drastic measures to protect us? <laughs> they don't try to explain anything. They just regurgitate the program they've been fed. Did you see the German doctor crying on the video about the killed three the mass killed three children already? Mm-hmm. Yeah, directly, and he's crying and he's upset. He's all dramatic. Wow. Okay, and, but okay, but still, they're getting away with this shit anyhow. Yeah. Rob. They're yeah. going to keep going. And they're going to keep going. They're going to keep going. And they're going to keep going. And not going to stop. It's like that yeah. one uh, Michigan governor, Supreme Court ruled. You overstepped your bounds, buddy. You don't have the authority to do that. Oh, okay. Well, we're going to declare another mandate. That's, you know, they don't care. They don't give a fuck about you or anybody. But Yeah, I, I'm aware of that. Their own ass. They wouldn't steal the tax money if they did. But... You know, because they ran the government before at some point without public funds. So, you know, all this bullshit about paying taxes to fund shit is a bunch of crap. Because nothing gets better. It never has. It's just continuously gotten worse. Well, no. Hmm? I mean, what do you expect? We've been at war all but 22 years of the existence of the country. Out of 244 yeah, years. What about that? You, um, we've been in population control. We've been in some kind of war, skirmish, or, or regime change operation, or whatever. All but 22 yeah. years of 144 years, or 244 years. Of they used good tools to get what they wanted from. Starting from day one. The non stops. Slaughter, destruction, death, and destruction. But if you'll notice, we never went to war with the country that was part of the central bank. Only those countries that are not part of the central bank. And we go to war with those. Yeah, they had a list of seven of them on the news 
Yep. Back in the early, when I was in the United States, I remember that. I don't know, who was that? Rumsfeld? Get up there with his plan to remove the seven evil countries. Yep. And fuck if they they took out five, and then I quit counting, but I think they're still, they're still working on it. Yep. All this is because of banking, people. If you knew the truth, the Jews use yeah. usury, and the Arabs do not. The banks so, loan money to both sides. <laughs> there you go. Creates a little bit of a problem there, doesn't it? Not Larry. Yeah. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's against the law to sell arms to both sides of a war. Against no. the national law. Let's not let details interfere with a good time. <laughs> Please. Hey, Americans dance around because they're bombing the fuck out of somebody else. They think it's cool. So, so yeah. yeah. 22, 22 years out of 244 years, that's a year off every 11 years for planning the next war. <laughs> da, 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 da. Anyway. Well, this country's in up to their eyeballs and whatever that shit is, too. They have their military. Yep. Oh, there you go. How do you know you're in enemy territories? People wear uniforms. Yep. That's how you, um, know. you know, because uh, when they uh, declared the entire world a battleground, um, the lines just got pushed out into space. Well, that's where I get so my barbed wire to if, rope come. If you want to get off the battleground, you have to leave the planet. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm still, but I'm still, I got the illusion of freedom. I'm, I'm loosely tied. It's not so bad. Yeah, yeah, you got a nice long leash. But I don't have anybody poking. There's no enforcement around here, so yeah. it makes it so much nicer. Yeah, well, they've already yeah, got it. It's already all in place. Yeah, in the five, what have I been, six years we've lived here, right? And I've seen one speed trap, and that was like two years ago. And I've never seen it again since. Try that speed trap shit. Well, yeah, because they're not depending on law enforcement for revenue. And the cop that was doing it. <laughs> they're taxing you about 80% or whatever. Well, whatever <laughs> it is. It's fucking paperwork over some yeah. stupid infraction of a yeah. some imaginary asswipes fucking problem. The point is they're not depending on fines to finance their beliefs. No, no, no. In, in cars, you know, it's a, the hierarchy here is walking, bike, car. Yeah, yeah, there's not a lot of, of yeah, uh, vehicular each hates, traffic. Each, and each group hates the other two groups. But they do it with love, so uh, okay. tolerable. Yeah. <laughs> Over here, they they paint a symbol of a, of a bicycle rider on the road so you know where you're supposed to go to hit them. Yeah. Well, I've been here so long that when I see six cars, it's a traffic jam. <laughs> Did you see that? Uh, I think it was a tweet somebody posted the other day. Uh, what dogs really say when they cross each other on the street? Did you see that? Right. No. Uh, it was just a video. Two, two people walking their dogs, coming up on each other. And they're about 50 yards away, and you hear the dog, and, you know, they're putting words to it. And the dog coming up says, Hey! What's your name? And the other dog says, Tony! The other one says, Fuck you, Tony! <laughs> and Tony says, What's your name? Ezekiel! Well, fuck you, Ezekiel! <laughs> said, No, fuck you! <laughs> That's what dogs really say when they pass each other on the street. No, <laughs> that's what Fluffy seen it. That's what Fluffy seen it. Oh, it was good. Somebody can pull it. Oh, shit. I'll get it. I'll bring it up. I got it. It doesn't, it doesn't train. The way yeah. I see dogs, nah. Oh. They, they sniff each other's asses if you let them. No, they're, they're not very aggressive. Except the little ones like to yap. Yeah, here it is. Yeah. But, uh, what a... Cr 
crazy show this is turning into. <laughs> that was fucking I hilarious. That was fucking hilarious. I was, I was telling my girlfriend about that this morning. <laughs> I busted up laughing again. Yeah, I posted it so you can watch it. Uh, it's funny. We're doing a live radio, Rob. I ain't watching it. <laughs> after the show, doofus. Oh, well, after yeah, the I'll play it right now. It's just two dogs walking up. It's it's more about what you hear anyway. Oh, well, it's laid out here in d Because I live in your extended future. What? Wow. What that name? was loud. Tony! Fuck you, Tony! What's your name? Ezekiel! <laughs> Fuck you, Ezekiel! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> What's your name? Uh, ouch. <laughs> <laughs> so now, so now I know what it's like to see me enhance Pat. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> wow, what a torture me and Hansel must be to somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought of it until like that. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh crap! You're welcome. <laughs> Sorry about uh, that. Nice. You you made a, a specific point to me for some reason with that little thing about how similar it is to the way I, I feel when I see him. <laughs> <laughs> like, exactly. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> oh man. Oh. <laughs> wow, here we are in green again. Shit. Why no the animal yeah. No animals were harmed in the production of this show. Well, <laughs> That fence on the death of animal that doesn't hit. Do you consider humans animals? <laughs> well, some people do it. Because I guarantee you, somebody will get the humans hurt. Yep. Well, there's definitely a difference between us and animals. And, and some people tend to side with that the animals are kinder. I do not think so. If you don't believe me, Get around a hungry dog. Yeah. Three days without food, and you'll see just how loyal a hungry dog can find itself. It's terrible. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. And yeah, yeah. when you get down to, to basic instincts and survival, it's like yeah, a man yeah. for himself. It, it's that's an all right. animal instinct. That's, that's what I was going to brag about, Mom, is that <laughs> See, humans don't turn on each other and start deciding to put them on the barbecue until, like, a certain amount of time has gone by because you lose your mind. Well, yes, starvation does that. Yeah, yeah. You, it eats your freaking brain cells, so you lose your cognitive fucking reasoning and you become <laughs> an animal. So, <laughs> if the only thing that really separates us from the animal is that we have the ability to uh, get, gather our food without directly murdering something else then then we're superior but wow what if we didn't <laughs> I mean they claim there's jungles and that haven't been corrupted by human beings yet where the people that live there still do things like their ancestors thousands of years ago uh, well there's one in South America, America has, uh, well so. how do you prove it if you film it you just lie and if you tell the story, how do you know the story's true? Well, yeah. they just they just flew over it and took pictures. Oh! Notice the arrows sticking out of the bottom of the plane when they landed. No. I yeah. <laughs> no, but there was a uh, there is a tribe down in South America somewhere. They uh, guy has been trying to get up there and they they wouldn't let anybody they knew about civilization they knew all about it but they uh they wouldn't allow any of them to go around part of it. and uh this one guy finally got them to let them come up there and take pictures and stuff and and uh I wish I could remember things <laughs> The details of things. Um, you have a computer in front of you. I know. I've tried to look it up before. This was a long time ago. I saw oh. it. It's a documentary of a guy. Caught and, you off guard. 
Yeah, and I tried to remember it. Oh, I think I saw that same documentary. Yeah. Well, well they, they all they all ate coca leaves. They ate coca. Yeah. That was their main diet was coca leaves. Yeah, and um, they had these little stone things that they would rub and or, or sticks. And but everything. I mean, <laughs> I just remember bits and pieces of this video. I'm trying to remember it, but. Hey, guys, read Frumpy in the chat when you get a second. Oh. Uh, four or five lines. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's funny tonight. Okay, just saying. <laughs> okay. Back to your regularly yeah. scheduled topic. <laughs> Hunger is the only need you can't postpone. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> then they ate him. <laughs> the gods must be crazy. It's not quite a documentary. <laughs> Oh, the gods must be, that's right. Uh, have you seen that one? The gods must be crazy? I think somebody, I have at some point. Some, somebody dropped a Coke bottle into this, into this environment that the hardest stuff was wood. And uh, one of the tribesmen found it and took it back. And they started sharing it uh, to, to beat their things with and something for like a hammer. Yeah. It was, it was a really good Coke bottle. And <laughs> finally they started arguing over who was going to get to use it. And the guy just took it and walked over and threw it over the cliffs. Says, we're going to fight over it where nobody can have it. <laughs> okay. It was a great movie. I'm going to have to go watch that. I don't think I've ever seen it. No. Grinner and Frumpy give us a big thumbs up. Yeah. But I just thought Frumpy was teasing you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Good old two dogs. Yeah. I don't have a clue. What else you know, Good Larry? Uh, the trees are starting to change colors here in Missouri. Yeah. Oh. Yep. One of the cypress trees was all rusty and beautiful when we went uh, Sunday. Yeah, I just had to go wash the car. It was nasty. Freaking sap and gunk all over it. Ew. I keep mine inside. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's in the living room. Okay. No. That's <laughs> nice. So you ride a bicycle, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Harley, I mean, some people do park their Harleys in the living room. <laughs> I've known a couple. Oh, of yeah. People. I've yeah. known a couple of people that do that. <laughs> I had a buddy who had a Harley in the kitchen. Yeah, yeah. It's the only place there was a tile floor that he could put something under it to catch the oil. Right. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Those were the days. Yes, sir. One of my buddies built his eight-year-old son a hundred years ago a uh, an extended fork scooter that had a centrifugal clutch on it because the kid was too young to to work the clutch, and it was really neat. One nearby. Yeah. It was kind of neat. A miniature chopper. Yeah. A mini chopper. So, w which one of you guys isn't going to vote for Trump? Me. Really? I'm not going to vote for Trump. I'm not going to vote for Biden. But I'm not going to vote for Trump, any of them. Trump just single-handedly whipped the most deadly virus into mankind. <laughs> How can you not? Sorry. How could you, in his, in all his splendor and his glory, thereof? Or this is all a bunch of bullshit. And there is no COVID to catch. They just wanted a couple of days off. So ding, hey, ding, 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 ding. Oh, uh -oh. did I did I say something? <laughs> you winner, winner. <laughs> this, is, this is the best hoax ever. I mean. So, 
you think the Jews did it? No, this, this in the in the years to come, the shit from this is going to make the Jews look like they were playing around. Twitter's going to ban you. Yeah, I think they already did. I don't. <laughs> use, I banned them a long time. Ago. <laughs> really, I have never used that crap. <clears throat> well, see, here we're tied because Grim does. So yeah. the people that you play with do. So I, my computer will open the shit. But I'm not on their uh, yeah. site. I, ha- I have a Twitter account, but the only thing is on it is Graham posting the shows. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think, I think mine's been, it's been there, but I don't use it. That's what I do. But the other one, the FB one, I deleted that about seven years ago. No, I don't. Um, Six and a half, something like that. I had one at one point way back when. <laughs> Yeah, but I wanted to delete mine on purpose, so I went through a... It took me like six weeks to do it. It was horrible. It was like having, you know, a fingernail torn. <laughs> well, you know, uncomfortable but bearable. But God, I wish it wasn't so stupid I did that. <laughs> yeah, because tearing a fingernail is pretty lame. You got to be really unlucky to do something that bad to yourself. Yeah. And if you've got friends that tear your fingernails off, you need new friends. <laughs> really? Your friends are not hair. Yeah. Out. So I would assume that if they tore a you nail, they know you that know. that moment where you feel like the world's dumb as schmo. <laughs> you need a new safe word. <laughs> Please, Mayor, take it out of the box. <laughs> hey, they got some new taxes coming, I'll bet you, from the COVID. I wonder how they're going to do this when they unemploy and kick most people out in the street. Are they still going to do that? or did they, How do they work around this? It's not, in the, it's not on the Internet. They don't talk about it. doesn't seem like anybody's too concerned that 23 million people are going to be facing an eviction. <laughs> Right after the election. <laughs> yeah. What a coincidence. <laughs> and there's going to be an election anyway. Wow, that shows you how important that one vote is. <laughs> Go ahead and mail them votes in for mom and dad and grandpa that's dead. Yeah, they're going to grim vote for me, I think. Yeah. But, yeah, I voted for myself. So yeah. He's going to fuck things up a little Did bit. you vote for hey. the cat? No, I voted for me. Did anybody vote for the cat? Or the dog? Fuck the cat. No, the dog's not smart enough to run it. She's a follower. That's why you have to vote for them. No, I voted for myself. Because uh, I don't want to do it. So I'm pretty sure I won't get elected. <laughs> Just not <I'm> more <laughs> There was a guy that ran a few years back that I voted for that promised that everybody would get a pony. Furman Supreme. Yeah. I voted for him. That's because he's... Beat it! I well, want a pony. But see, we exist in this freaking verbal exchange where people have political parties and all that crap. Mm-hmm. And still, I cannot figure out where in the world does all this crap come into play in your daily life. On any kind of uh, individual level, and it does it's just to control you. Like a good little debuffer. Whoa. But Sorry about that. Yeah. Well, apparently, though, Rob, there's a lot of people that believe that if we didn't have this net of security all wrapped around us, keeping us all safe from each other, that we would uh, <laughs> we'd cannibalize our neighbors. They really believe that the the stability that we do use is a result of their force. Now, I'm personally, I am insulted by the idea that they think I need a babysitter with a gun when I go outside and pump. So, you know what? Fuck. Yep. That's what I think. What do you think? I carry my own gun. Ooh. Are you all licensed and crazy, or are you just crazy and don't give a fuck anymore? A little bit of both. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> I, I have one weapon that's licensed in case they ever want to come and take them. Uh, and, 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 and all the rest are not. <laughs> yeah. I can't count the weapons that are in this house. I can either confirm or deny. Well, could you give a good definition of what the word registration means to uh, listen and folk out there? Well, I happen to have a conceal and carry license. Um, Okay. So, (laughs) big deal. I know well, Jose and Jose don't give a shit about what your rules say. Exactly. <laughs> but what, what that means is, is that I don't have to open carry. I can put a jacket on over my holster. Yeah, well, Jose carries it anyway. Yeah. But he yeah. don't open because he don't want you to know it's good, which is yeah. weird. Yeah. Because he's hiding from you, so something should go fucking wrong. I want yeah. to start carrying my lever action shotgun around. You know what I read? I read, I read a link about a guy showing his uh, his handgun off to another guy in the store, and apparently it was not on its safety. And when he put it back in his leg, he put a, a bullet in his own groin and leg. <laughs> but he missed the artery that bleed him out. But he still he shot himself in the groin and the and. The, Showing up, well, who in their right mind yeah, knows yeah, that yeah. With, with a, without a safety in a public safety. If you're carrying a gun around in a grocery store, you don't pull it out in the first fucking place unless you're about to shoot somebody. He yep. did. He shot somebody. <laughs> well, well, okay, well, yeah, I guess he fits <laughs> guess, the criteria. I guess he fits the criteria. Uh, right, well, that comes to the second part of that that I was going to say, or you're a dumbass. And <laughs> so, yeah, that fits that part. Okay. But no, you know, guns aren't guns aren't toys. They're they're I tools. Know that. And I know that. yeah, they're not. If, if you don't know to check your weapon before you holster it, that's on you. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, he deserves to get shot. I mean, he deserves what he got. Yeah. Ouch. For well, being a I dumbass. Know. I'm laughing, so apparently I'm on one side of this. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Of you part at all. Yeah. Well, I say, I say either arm everybody equally or don't arm anybody. I, I don't have a... So did he get arrested for discharging a firearm within city limits? I don't remember what the punishment was. Not <laughs> shooting yourself in the ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you would think that would be enough, but now the state doesn't have a heart, so they're cold. Double, double Darwin winner right there, though. Yeah, yeah. Jeez. Uh, I'm sure that's not the first time that's happened. But showing oh, yeah. off, okay, come on. Showing off, that's the result of your showing off. That's what happens yeah. when you act a fool. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> yeah. Not very... <laughs> Yeah, do it. He did it to his uh, own self. He ought to know not to have his finger in a damn trigger when he's putting it in his holster. And this guy is going to go vote. <laughs> <laughs> Think about that. Damn, Flash. He's probably got seven kids. He has the illusion in his mind that his paper thing has something to do with your future. And he's going to, by God, he's going to go to that little ballot thing and play the fool. Make sure you get put in your place and you don't follow the rules that he wants you to follow. What? Why don't you all just shut up? <laughs> Not you guys. Uh, my imaginary enemies out there. <laughs> Cause I don't know. I don't think people behave that way in person, but we sure do a lot of it on the internet. Well, if, if you take the safety labels off, them kind of folks are going to pretty soon thin out. Let them go. I'm all for yeah. it. I'm, yeah. I'm done coddling and caring and being worried about people that are so ignorant that they don't know voting is a waste of time. There you go. There's your first, Following a crew of other people to do something stupid. No, that's nah. I don't need all that. So what? You know what I did, Larry? What? I met Sarah and ended up just getting married and have a little, uh, kind of like a quiet, peaceful thing going on. 
and you left the world. You, yeah. you, left, you left the United States. Oh, I did that. Probably the best thing you ever did. Yeah, that was a fluke, though. I, I did that years, a couple of years before I met Sir. I was already in the United Kingdom, and if I was there right now, I'd be crying. I'd be trying to dig a fucking tunnel to uh, Ireland. Because <laughs> England's just as bad. And uh, well, I yeah. still too bad, but you Let's know, well, all I mean is, I wouldn't be pleased if I was there. England is the most surveilled country in the world. Yeah, but I was in uh, Scotland. And they're they're a close second because they they love that German Queen's tip. Yeah. Well, they all talk this referendum shit about you know, independence and all this crap. Mm-hmm. But you know, no matter what, they've got a thousand, two thousand years of history between them, so they're not going to ever part ways. It's a story. It's like uh, Jesus. <laughs> and, it, you know, it's real to you if you believe it. And if you don't believe it, then it's not real to you. There you go. How, and the royalty is all part of the same damn family anyway. Yeah. Yeah. And so that Diana girl tried to put some, you know, like that muzzy stuff in it. They <laughs> said, oh, no, we can cross the, you have crossed the lines. You can look at them, but you cannot talk that no. <laughs> <laughs> but now the, the youngest one, one of the brothers, he's doing it. But he had to leave the country to do it. <laughs> America, yep. America denouncing the fucking royals or some shit with some brown girl. This is what I know from the internet webs. And you know what? How? Do you, who gives a fuck? I can yeah. care less about what you're doing. Yeah. What difference? Does it? But it's see, but it's in the face all the time so you get to know it. Like it matters. So I'm saying, Larry, is if you tell people uh, enough that something that's trivial makes a big deal, they're going to go, oh, hey, yeah, this is a big deal. Yep. But just don't ever tell them, hey, you know what? I'm stuffing this up your butt as far as I can. Don't mind the inconvenience. I'm not, and you don't, your eyes are not lying to you, but my mouth is. <laughs> And they love it. Why, Larry? It should all be served with a little tab of Vaseline so it don't hurt so much. Well, would that be government, state, any particular brand, or just all of it? Every single one of them. Wow. So you, you don't, don't like enforcement? No, I don't. I don't like somebody else trying to dictate my damn morals. Especially the kind of people that are out there running things these days. Like what? Well, uh, like Creepy Joe trying to tell me that, that, hell, I don't know anything that I do that I don't (laughs) approve of. (laughs) Just Just trying to tell me the way I should think about things. I don't like other people trying to take up space in my head. Oh, I get it. Okay. No. Mix it, yeah, but still, they can, and they do. Do it to me all well, the time. Yeah. It well, makes for uh, radio shows and such. I, I watch what other folks are doing and, and see how they're doing it and see if that will incorporate into what we're doing. But other than that, and and I thirst for knowledge. I stay on the internet most all day, every day, just looking at videos about things that folks are doing, or studying new different kinds of Vedic math, or something weird. Well, and Rob Rob opened the show with three good links, but he didn't hit record when you two were talking about it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's going to yeah. be a weird show because they're in the notes and they'll be out of sync. Well, I went over it. I went over it briefly. Uh, this this should still be able to get a grasp of what we talked about. Uh, the platonic solids are real important. One thing about those is that if you if you make them out of tubular copper and circulate ferrofluid through it, it will that's fluid that's got an iron base. Yeah. That will generate electricity. 
And if you circulate it fast enough, it will generate enough electricity to create a plasma field in the exact center of those forms. Right. So how would you circulate it? I mean, like take, for example, uh, the six-sided cube. An aquarium pump. Okay, but where would you go? Where would your inlet and outlets be? I mean, how would you circulate it? Or would you make it, or would you do it in such a way that it's a one, like, a continuous line? Yeah, one continuous line, just loop it. So you'd have to come in and go, okay. Comes in, goes around, comes so out. So it wouldn't actually be um, electrically connected at the points. Uh, at the points is where you would, would have your spark gaps going to your capacitors. Okay. Yeah, you would fill a capacitor off of that kind of a system. Okay. Or, or, or a battery or something. You would capture right, that right. some way at those arc points. Right. But then, it, 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 it's just a Tesla tower. Yeah. It's just parking part of a Tesla tower. Yeah. Just a different shape. He, he, he made the big uh, toroidal-shaped ones so that they would be better collectors. Yeah. They would put on a better show. Right. That's very stuff, man. Yeah. It's all, it's all real interesting to me. I really enjoy reading and learning about it. Uh, I was just hoping you would get some, some kind of... Uh, Brain spark on that, uh, on those patterns, the, the, the repeating patterns and stuff like that, because that kind of ties into your, well, you know, because what you're dealing with is geometric patterns in a total yeah. shape, and so just thinking along those lines may kick something along, you know, into place well, into your brain that will give you that uh, little breakthrough you need. Yeah, like I said, it's, this is just one more thing that proves what we're doing, that, that at least we're on the right path. Yeah. Uh, the phi relationship of the coils, mm-hmm. and if you look at it, if, if you put it on paper the way it's wired, it looks like it's a whole bunch of equilateral triangles. Mm-hmm. And that's one, of the, that's one of the forms that just repeats itself forever. Right, so there you go. So, you already have yeah. a you already have a a, a, a tie into it. Yeah, uh, it it makes sense. It all makes sense. Uh, pyramid math makes sense when you look at it as a toroidal shape, as as what it's actually doing. That's the center point of a toroid, the the top tip of it. Yeah. That's the transition point. That's where all the power is made, or transmitted anyway. Yeah. So it's it's all it's all there. It's always been there. They keep telling us over and over and over this is the way it's supposed to go. Some of the old Catholic churches have nine number boxes on the outside of them, and those are all coil designs. Yeah. Those are wiring patterns. So if you if you look at things a little bit different and see if they could have done something, most of the stuff they show us on the rock reliefs and even in the cave drawings have done something. Yeah. Did you get a chance to watch any of that seven hour video? Yeah, I watched the whole thing. Oh yeah, that, yeah, that was really good. I, I, it it didn't cover the things that I like to see a whole bunch, but the yeah. different kinds of of construction methods around the world. Yeah, yeah, that, that's that, that's what was more showing the 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 two hundred ton blocks and showing that it was impossible. We couldn't do it today, so. 
There's no way the Egyptians built it. Um, well, that just proves that they had trained ants in those days. Yeah, that proves there was a prior civilization that had way more advanced in technology than we did. Than we do. Yep. And the the smooth and rounded edges, the bulging of it, that's indicative of hydrogen. It, you, you don't exactly melt the granite with hydrogen, but you make it malleable so that once you got a boulder in place, you just heat it with the hydrogen and set another boulder on top of it, and it conforms to that shape. Right. Okay. So there's there's different technologies that, that could have explained it, but I'm still absolutely sold on frequency. Yeah. The Tibetans are doing it today uh, through chants and bells and horns and uh -huh. they, they're levitating stones. And that's a real thing. Yeah. So instead of having 20,000 slaves that you beat with a whip, you had 20,000 worshipers that were singing a song. <laughs> Sing it in the place. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And I also don't believe that Cheops and Khufu were the ones that, that built those pyramids. I'm a firm believer that they were there thousands of years before. Yeah. Did you see that part where he showed the there they they uh somebody left something open and, and there's an entrance into the Sphinx? Yeah. Yeah, under I under the paw of the Sphinx, yeah. Yeah, I've never seen that before. And there's also supposed to be in the the right ear a, a doorway that leads inside from up there. Oh yeah. But yeah, they say that they found the, the library under the paw. Yeah, and well, that's that been was, there's been speculation about that for years and years. Yeah. Um, but the, the the Egyptians won't let anybody mess with it. So yeah, and, yeah, and they're real strict about. It. Allowing. That's the information yeah. I'd like to get hold of. Oh, hell yeah. Hey, you know who else has something like that going on in America? Huh? Billy the Kid. Billy the Kid. The state that Billy the Kid is buried in, I think it's Arizona. Yeah. They they refuse to allow the court to dig him up for an autopsy. Hmm. Because they don't want the... If they indeed proved it wasn't him... Well, then all this history that they've been using all these years is kind of, whoops. Yeah, it kind of shows them to be uh, full of shit. Yeah, but they come right out and said, well, we don't we don't want to allow this. Hey, yeah. wait a minute. <laughs> See, the state, the biggest liar at the table. Well, yeah, they, they, they say there's a bunch of stuff in the Grand Canyon, too. Um, yeah, I'd like to be able to find that. But... The government has got so much land that connects to the Grand Canyon off limits. I doubt if there's any way to even get close to that. Yeah, that's the thing is they they restrict everything to where you can't. They yeah. have enforcement. Yeah. There you go. And these, some of these people are so diehard enforcement built. They'll, they believe this shit. Oh, yeah, they yeah. It's horrible. Ooh, we live in a world full of fucking psychos with guns. Future for rock climbing. Yeah. I know, and then when you, and if you make any comment that doesn't promote a gun, then you're anti-gun. Uh, I'm an anti-idiot. You know, not so much the gun. It's because people are stupid. They'll kill each other with anything. The gun's just a very dramatic over... It's overused on the, in the media and shit. You know, I, grew, I grew up in a hunting family. Right, but it's not the same, Larry. That's not how I mean it. Being in the home, I had my father had guns in the home. What I mean is, we didn't mm -hmm. see gunplay daily in the street like the TV show. Oh, show. no. Right. But people believe, because <laughs> they've seen it on TV, without mm -hmm. ever having experienced where I'm going. That, okay. I took yeah. a long way to get there, Larry, but that was the point I was trying to make. Thank you. Yeah. 
Yeah, they see it on a video game. Turn that gun sideways and you can hit with it every time. Bullshit. So I just noticed Frumpy was saying some stuff in the in the chat. Uh, he says, please t- uh, seriously look at those free mud flood buildings. They were all self-powered and many of the remnants still exist. Um, something, something about the world fairs are all self-powered. And then uh, Hans actually asked him for a link about it. Uh, but he didn't have time. He said the Tartarian Empire will find it too. So I'm going to do a little search for that. Yeah, the the mud flood was a big thing. Uh, I kind of think that that was the the aftermath of the Great Flood. It, all that water just yeah. transferred all the dirt, covered everything up. Uh, there, I just put a little link in there. Mystery of an Empire Lost in History. Tartaria. Uh, the Mongol Empire stretched from present-day Poland to Ukraine and Ukraine. In the West, to Korea in the East. Anyways. Oh, here's a bunch of int- images of the ferment. Yeah. Well, I'm probably not finding the exact right thing that we're looking for, but... Uh, uh, I got it. Here's one that's right up our alley. Is history a big lie? Why, yes. Yes, it is. Where do you get an idea like that from? Understanding Tartaria. Anyway, there's a couple of links in there. Uh... <clears throat> Not that Hans is listening to hear that, but anyway, he'll see it or not. Mm. Anyways, well, I'll watch them. But cool, yeah, thanks, Trumpy, if you're still listening. Um, yeah, there's just so many different fascinating things going in the world. It's hard to even remember it all and stuff. Right, and we got all this bullshit that's not happening, dominating all your time. Yeah. Like that place out in, uh, I think it's in California somewhere, um, where the uh, gravity is off. Oh, what's it called? Where you're going up, they have a little shack on it. You go in there and... and oh. And you're standing at an angle compared to the people outside, and yeah, what? Uh, yeah, what the hell is that called? Uh, I don't know what it's called, but Six I've been five. to two or three of them as a child. Mm-hmm. And it's you're on the side of one mountain, looking at another, in the, in just a, a real sharp valley. And it, it makes yeah. you feel like it's weird. And it, if it, I can find that, yeah, I don't know the I don't know the science behind it, but it's all your angular vision. Da 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 da. Yeah. See, and I, I told I told you guys the I mystery the spot place. in Santa Cruz, California. All that starry yeah. stuff, just crazy. They used to have one of those in the Ozarks around here. Official web? They have an official website, even. Yeah, it's a tourist attraction thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, but it's really cool. (laughs) Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Should be kind of cool. That's what makes them tourists. Grim says he thinks there's one in Sedona, too. There's a lot of stuff going on in Sedona, too. That's a a major vortex. Uh, Ley line convergence. I read somebody, I read a story about somebody that went there in search of and saw this, what looked like a gateway or a portal open. He was too scared to go through it, but, or step in. And time travelers, because that's in all my time travel. It's a big, it's a big seller to go through a portal. But, you yeah, know, the whole concept is kind of comical, but it's very entertaining. Yeah, stories. Makes as much sense as food. 
Well, it's like Sasquatch. You see him all the time, but he's real blurry, and you can't make him out real good. Yeah. Uh, they all have shitty yeah. cameras. Or don't know how to focus well, the camera. Yeah, but there are places that are basically uh, inhabitable to human beings. Gun says he, he would step through the portal. Me too. He says, yeah, but that's easy to say when there ain't a portal. Yeah, when you're not standing right in front of the dead thing. <laughs> you have no idea, no clue what the fuck you're stepping into. <laughs> and if there's even, if there's any coming back or not. It kind of fucks up his hermit lifestyle. To do <laughs> yeah, uh, and, uh, portal. You end up right in the middle of a dead head. Oh, hey, there you go, Ross. Uh, there's an idea. Yeah, Just start throwing all our fucking nuclear waste through it. <laughs> hey. What could go wrong? Wow, you're so cool. <laughs> hey, it was us idea. Yeah, well, you're still cool. Oh. Sometimes. Mr. I forgot to hit record. I did that. I did you, that. To move that's on. what I said. I pulled the flash. <laughs> In that, I but I didn't go through the whole fucking show and then realize it wasn't recording. <laughs> well, we're going to have to start the show with a questionnaire. It only took me 15 to... minutes. <laughs> well, hey, that's better than I did. I did a whole show and didn't know until... Well, the I fucked myself up playing the intro music because that's, you know... Yeah, usually, yeah. usually I hit I hit broadcast and then record and you know, uh, but I've been doing these bumpers so. You know, you know what Grim did for me so I wouldn't have that problem. Got you that rocket broadcaster thing. It, yeah, this is so idiot proof. Even I can do it all by myself. Damn. Uh, That's right. Well, I'm not the brightest bulb when it comes to operating. Even Flash can do it. So, yeah, you would just as a promo, because it's, it's simple enough for me. Crying out loud. If you're an ugly third grader, you too could probably play this. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I'm fascinated by places like that. Uh, Sedona is one place I, I definitely want to go see and spend some when? time before, I, before I'm done here. Uh, wow, what are you being done here? Where, where, what? On, on this, in this existence. Well, okay, but what if, with all this governmental, this ain't gonna go on probably past the election, right? All this COVID. Well, I would hope not. God, I hope it's with, not just. Uh, what do you do if they drag it beyond the election? Well, it's. I think it's gonna go one of two ways. Right. Uh, either the things we're hearing about things like Nasara and all that are real and. We're fixing to see the whole shit establishment get torn down. Or we're fixing to go into full-blown Orwellian hellish nightmare tyranny. 1984 style. Yeah. Big brother. Well, they're doing it. Yeah, I mean, the, the plan is there to do that. The only question is, is, will somebody be able to stop them or not? And the only thing that I've heard of that has a chance is if what all this stuff is they're saying is true. Okay, well, like but what kind of stuff? That like that Trump's, Trump is uh, uh, working with John F. Kennedy Jr. <laughs> oh, I read that. <laughs> and has been for, for decades to bring this to a culmination of where it's at and and a lot of the signs are pointing to it. I mean, I I can't completely discount it. It's there's a lot of one in your plan. Okay. There's a lot of things going on. Oh, it's, I'm I'm not saying it's not possible, Rob. I am saying. That oh no, I'm not. I, I I grew up with every story that you can ever imagine. So why not? I'm saying that if it if that's not true. And that, oh, Trump, yeah. and that Trump is, and, and I'm, I'm leaning, I just, I'm skeptical about everything. But anyways, um, uh, what cage is supposed to Rob works masking up. Uh, <laughs> nice, Kate. Um, 
but yeah, if that's not true, if there's not some kind of uh, <laughs> shadow white hat group that's, that's working towards uh, intervening in this shit, then uh, we're pretty much fucked. It's going, it's going, to, I mean, there, there won't be anything to stop them. Oh. Okay, there, yeah, no, I wasn't laughing at that, Bob, I'm sorry. I know you were laughing at the bacon thing. Because it's so you. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, but you really think it's that serious? Or Yeah. I, I have for a long time. I mean, the fucking road in stone, dude. Yeah, I, I've read They're serious it. about that. I mean, they really do want to eliminate 93, 5% of the population. Oh, they, they want to eliminate six billion people minimum. Right. Uh, well, they got they got plenty of sick and weak to start. Yeah. Well, it's easier said than done. It's not easy. No, it's not to I wipe out to wipe out uh, uh, a population of, of beings that are resilient and uh, determined. You know, change. So. Yeah, we we can adjust to the good stuff in a matter of a few days. Yeah, so... The, poison, the poisons that we eat, I experienced it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of food I don't eat anymore, but I got I had to get rid of it and replace it with something else, and it was, it was a trip. I would recommend it to the person next to me because it's good for you. And the other thing is, is that they can't move too fast because if they start really coming down, uh, you know... Uh, I don't know what you know. Implementing uh, big measures to you know do large die-offs and killings. You know, oh, uh, at some point people are going to wake the fuck up and go, you know, what the fuck's going on here? And that's well, ha- I mean that's happening now to an extent. I mean, just just in my lifetime, in the thirty whatever years that I've been paying attention to anything more than you know getting fucked up and uh, pussy. Uh, um, you know, uh, I have noticed, you know, people, a whole different attitude, uh, towards the things I talk about, uh, cause I've been talking like I do, just not to exactly the same as I do today, but I've always been counter, uh, mainstream shit, so I have noticed in the 30 years that like way back then I was I was the conspiracy theorist Ooh, that guy uh-huh. you know and now it's like yeah I know what you mean man these people are fucked up so you know I get I get that a lot more often than I than not now whereas before I got oh you're just fucking crazy dude. I mean, when I was, because I started off talking about taxes, that was the first thing that I got into was the, the IRS and the whole tax scam, and and uh, I wasn't paying it anymore, and I rescinded my Social Security number and and quit filing income tax returns, and that was 1988, and people looked at me like I was from outer space. How 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 how, you, how, how can you not File tax return. How do you do that? <laughs> that was the reaction you got. You know, you can't just not file tax return. They'll come and get you. Well, here it is, thirty-two years later, still waiting on them. Hello. Hello. So. Hello. They do it in little steps, Rob. <laughs> okay, well, how <laughs> do get away with it? Let them know when they get it. No, I mean I know why I don't get fucked with because I don't. I I've arranged my life in such a way that uh, they don't uh, they don't come after me. I don't have anything for them to steal. We're gonna go a little bit uh, over today uh, since we didn't start recording. I'm gonna go uh, till. I have two hours on the on the recording, so that uh, uh, which is uh, we've still got about ten minutes, nine minutes. So um, so the uh, uh, 
Bitch, you listeners will get a full show. Yeehaw. And everything. So, um... Shit. But what was I saying? Um... Uh, <laughs> he lost you. Brain fart, yeah. Ain't that a bitch when that happens. I don't know, you got yourself... <laughs> Uh, one yeah. more time about the uh, forgetting to hit the record button thing. Yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, now you're now you're a proven radio personality because we all do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Uh, Just funny when it happens to you, and when it happens, <laughs> to you, not not even funny at all. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. a little bit, Rob. You you would be the difference in would surprise you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, shit happens. I bullshit, man. But no, well, like you said, you know, everybody does it. You know, it's when you. It's just part of the territory. Yeah. Well, Mary was threatening to come back. He's got the squeaky too. door. Oh, that's probably my chair. My that's chair's you. Well, nice. oil would fix that. Damn, y'all can hear that? It's fucking Mark Are you? Are you are you so Jewish you won't you only buy oil? It just started doing that. I have oil. I just haven't. I, <laughs> it just now started doing it. Seriously. Well, gained so much weight. Yeah, there you go. No, so uh, yeah. He's on the bacon train. Yep, the chair's groaning. Oh, oh I, I had it. I donate all my bacon to Rob. And even Cirque. Cirque doesn't care for it either. So, Boom. Yeah. All, and you know what Denmark is? It's a bacon exporting fucking country now. Right. They, I think they export about a quarter of what they make. Cool. <laughs> eh, I'm not big on animal, you know, flesh for a uh, way to make a living. But personally, you, but that's what they do. You don't want to live downwind of a pig farm. Let me tell you I that. Know. Well, it doesn't matter if I should or like it. I don't. Not within about 10 miles, anyway. <laughs> no. So Another well, thing you don't want to live anywhere near is a fucking sugar beet factory. Yeah, well, our paper mail. Circle oh, man. About the measurements here in, yeah. in America. Oh, I don't know. She, I, she goes on about it sometimes, but I, I always come out being thinking... Yeah, but I can do both. So what's your problem? Now? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it wasn't enough that they got to add, you know, from go to from ten to twelve or tw- from ten to sixteen. But you know, if you've never done it before, I guess it would be strange. But growing up doing it was you know, as a normal. But if you really want to irritate somebody from Scandinavia. Tell them what an inch is. Because it's some, all those weird American measures. An inch is about... Uh, I know what an inch is. I grew up... Three in centimeters. <coughs> See, but that three is point. It's about... It's, no, there's not a specific... Three and a half inch is the middle joint on your index finger. Because they use... They use the... Uh, the decimal point. There it is. Decimal system, ten, you know. Yeah, man. So it works out like money. So everything, but it's a. But yeah. we're used to those other measurements. An inch is two and a half centimeters. Except the grams are the same. That part weighs down. It's almost exactly two and a half centimeters. Oh, see, there he goes. Almost. It's Not exact, exact, but close enough. Right. It, right? No, <laughs> new math. Yep, that's how you get to the moon, folks. Use that new math. You don't have to hit it exactly. Just get close. Yeah, pretty much. The Jews pulled it off with their last little shenanigans. Oh, they they made it there, but it crashed on the moon. What what a story to tell. I want to see the video to that. They got video of me, you know, down at the grocery store buying chocolate. So 2.54 centimeters. Yeah, but I want to see the video of, you know, stuff. So next time somebody asks you how much an inch is, you can tell them. 
two but point I don't care five four centimeters. They don't ask. They don't find it necessary to know. They mock that there's a second system. Oh, so they they're just care. laughing at you. Yeah. It's, oh, okay. But it, I don't get the point well, of that. Happening. I can understand that. I'm, I'm smart enough to use either system. So yeah, oh, oh. <laughs> but, I'm wow. smarty pants. But see, it's, it's the, the exceptionalism <laughs> of needing your very own private numerical system that other countries don't use. Yeah. Instead of joining... No, the there's, a, there's a big row over all that shit. Yeah, there's a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there you go. Instead of opt out, they, they made it like this instead. So, Because hmm. I think the math of using inches is entertaining. Or using measurements, grams or ounces or pounds... Tons. It's fun. Mathematical side of me, you know, that nerd side that I, I like to calculate with. You guys got it. <laughs> you guys got it bad. <laughs> Getting all that algebra and shit. Help, help. I'm way over my head. Being stuck by I'm that. okay with algebra. If you break it into trigonometry and calculus and all that, I just start getting lost. How about you, Larry? Uh, I took logic. I, yeah, I, I really enjoy most of it. What I didn't like was what I learned in probabilities and certainties. Hmm. And that's that no matter what you want to hear, you can take a poll, and if you poll the right people, you will hear what you want to hear. <laughs> and, uh, imagine that. Yeah. Can you direct the questions too or no? You can you can prove absolutely anything that you want to prove if you ask the right people. Ah. Okay, I just sent um, Grim the notes for the show for you guys. Yep, we are about uh, a minute and a half. Well, still, you covered a lot of stuff. So, there's lots of links. And yeah, there's some, stuff. some good info there and lots of yep. good lots of good chat. Well, you, you had a good audience there. A couple. Of, oh, yeah, we had we had some good feedback today. That was nice. Thank you, Frumpy, yeah. and us, and Grim Noon, and Ms. Girl, and all our pals Cal and palettes in the real Cowboy Tech. Chat. Hey, Cowboy. Yeah, he's living. He's living out there in the West Coast. In the yep. United States. Yeah. He's in, he's in Oregon, right? Huh? Yeah, I we think. got people from everywhere. Yeah, we got we got it pretty well. You guys are all the international people that we know that I know of. No, we 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 got another guy that's over there somewhere. I forget who it is. Solving her, but he's no, it wasn't him. He hasn't been around in a long time. No, there's somebody that comes in not too long ago that talked about. Anyways, but yeah. That's uh, going to be a wrap. Well, thanks a lot, Larry and Rob. I had a good time this week. Yeah. Here on the no. Coil Show. Always fun. Good show. Enjoyed it. Had a good time. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Goose. <laughs> <laughs> See you next week.